What is up everybody, it is King Kunta, and today we're going to be going over the new changes to Death Knights in the new patch 8.0 Battle for Azeroth. So in the new patch 8.0 uh, Battle for Azeroth, Death Knights have received many different class changes. And this ranges from talent changes to gameplay and even rotation changes. Um, these changes affect all the specs, um, affecting Blood Death Knights, Frost Death Knights, Unholy Death Knights, and... I mean, every other kind of Death Knight DPS you could possibly think about. So there's many new abilities and spells which we will actually get into in the video. And there are also some returning ones and some previously removed during pruning. And uh, on top of those spells, the legacy ones from Legion um, have different like traits. And all the BFA talents are kind of getting baked into our new... Uh, core spec or like azurite traits is what they're going to be called uh also they added a bunch of our abilities onto the global cooldown and there was also a giant giant stat squish uh also the new war mode is you know enabled so we can actually uh you know gain like go further we can have a extra 15 percent experience boost while leveling which actually does help out a lot and i've actually t seen people say you know it's actually way more useful to actually have war mode enabled so basically some notable overall changes are arcane torrent and every man for himself have changed so the two strongest racial effects have received changes in bfa with arcane torrent receiving a new and add or receiving a new effect and it was added to the global cooldown and uh, every man for himself, uh, the spell actually had its cooldown increased. Now, the majority of class cooldowns have been moved, moved to the global cooldown as of the new 8.0 patch. Uh, it's really just kind of a majority. A lot of them have been moved to that, uh, the global cooldown now, and you'll, you'll just kind of see once the patch uh, actually comes out. Um, all melee abilities now scale with attack power and weapon damage, which, you know, obviously this helps ma or monks out and stuff like that. Uh, just kind of bringing them up to par with Death Knights. Um, obviously the stat squish, and that's really all the notable changes. And right now we're going to kind of go into all the, you know, all the new abilities that were added to Global Cooldown and all that good stuff. So, um, abilities that are in Global Cooldown, basically what that means is uh, they can't be used at the same time. So kind of like in Legion, you were able to spam many different powerful abilities at the same time, often in one macro, and it could actually be quite overpowered. So um, uh, across all specs, the one ability that was put on global cooldown was Death Grip. Uh, it's on a five second glu global cooldown. For the Blood Death Knight spec, uh, Dancing Rune Weapon, was added now it's now on the global cooldown and now has a 1.5 second global cooldown and as well as tombstone that has a 1.5 second global cooldown for the blood death knights as well now moving on to the frost death knights uh empower rune weapon is now on the global cooldown it's now added to a 1.5 second global cooldown as well as obliteration uh unholy uh, saw unholy frenzy and unholy blight also added to the global cooldown both with 1.5 second cooldowns respectively there were also some changes to many of the death knight uh spells and talents and kind of just like everything in general uh blood death knights uh the the apply aurora uh actually only or it, it was increased it uh, increases damage and and healing done by 29%, which is uh, quite good. We also saw Blood Boil. It used to deal 375% attack power. Now it's at 30. And uh, that obviously is a giant stat squish that we also saw, um, you know, in, with the new update that's coming out uh, as well. Death and Decay. Uh, they basically took all the numbers down a whole lot. So Death and Decay... Um, now only increases attack power by 3.6% as opposed to 286 and uh, this is kind of the same trend we can kind of see kind of just going down the entire entire talent tree it kind of be useless for me to just kind of like go through all of them and just tell you how they were just kind of squished really all that it, all that it is is uh, they just basically took down how much it buffs your damage and they took it down by a lot also we also got a few new abilities so we have consumption which strikes all the enemies in front of you with a hungering attack that deals 40 percent attack power and physical damage that heals you for 100 percent of the damage which is actually quite cool uh it's definitely something that i'm going to be looking forward to trying out 
Um, now the next ability we have is the Grip of the Dead. Um, so Defile and Death of Decay reduces movement speed of enemies within its area by 90%, decaying by 10% every second. So just another way to kind of just slow down some enemies in there is what that seems like. Um, each enemy hit by, so, or sorry, uh, our next ability is Hemotosis, which is each enemy hit by blood boil increases the damage and healing done by your, ne by your next death strike by 8%, stacking up to 5 times, which is actually a quite interesting ability, I am quite excited to see that as well. Uh, another ability added, Rune Strike, which is where you strike the target for 60% of attack power, physical damage, and your cooldown is reduced by 1 second for every rune you spend, and it generates 1 rune. Um, uh, and that's really uh, it, other than, you know, really those are the ones added, and the rest are just kind of slight changes and nerfs to already existing content, so I kind of don't think it would really make sense to... Uh, continue going over but if you did like this video uh, feel free to leave me a comment uh, maybe even like it maybe even subscribe if you really did enjoy it that much